Excellent. So today we will see a very important topic about magnetic compass. So we have an instrument, a device called magnetic compass. So we see how it works and on which principle it works. And let us see the construction part and what are the uses of magnetic compass. Okay. So children already we know the, suppose if you take any magnet, a bar magnet, suspend it uh, freely. So we know the property of magnet is directional property. Directional property. So the meaning is, whenever you suspend a magnet, so initially what happened because of the force from air or something, it will just oscillate. Okay? But uh, later what happened, it comes to rest in the direction of north and south. Okay? Always magnet comes so, uh, in the direction of north and south direction. So the meaning is, earth also acts like a magnet. Earth also acts like a magnet. So the meaning is, we know the property of magnet, bar magnet. It has two poles, one is north pole and south pole. Okay? So now, when we suspend freely, automatically, the north pole of the magnet, bar magnet, attracted by south pole of the earth magnet. But at the south pole of the earth magnet, there is a, it is towards the north direction. Okay? Similarly, when we observe the another end of the bar magnet, south pole, is towards the south direction because earth magnet has north pole. So based on the like poles repel, unlike poles attracted. So the based on the property, the magnetic pump, bar magnet always comes to rest in the north and south direction. So the property is called directional property. Now we have based on the directional property, we are using very important device, a instrument called magnetic compass. Let us see first what is the use of it. Suppose whenever you are constructing some houses, new houses, where is the north, where is the south, or suppose you are travelling in the ship or aeroplanes. Generally, when you are travelling, when, when you make a journey in the ocean, so ocean is a large place of, of water. We don't know in which direction we have to travel. So for that purpose we use this magnetic needle. So based on the magnetic needle, it shows always north and south direction. So when we know the north and south, automatically we can know the east and west also. Okay? So like that, we travel easily. We can find our way easily. So unknown way can be found out by using the magnetic needle. Okay? So let us see the construction part. So now, when you look at the construction part, here it is a metal box here, covered with a glass. So, simply it has a small box if you observe. In, uh, it is uh, covered with a glass here. So, inside of the glass what happened? So, there is a needle which is magnetized one. That is called magnetized needle is pivoted inside the box here. So, you can understand that when you look at the box inside the magnetic needle, come here. So, it is uh, easily moving or freely rotating. So, like that we are making the arrangement. So, in the magnetic compass, so a small magnetized needle is placed inside it. Okay? So, that is easily and freely rotated. Okay? So, there is an important condition is it has to be rotated easily because unless it rotates easily, it is not attracted by south and north poles of the earth. Okay? So this is the first important thing is it is based on the direction property of the magnet. Direction property of the magnet. It is small box covered with a glass. Next there is a magnetic needle. Okay? Which is pivoted and because of the arrangement it can easily rotate. Okay? So now if you still look at the magnetic needle compass so, the dial of the magnetic compass also paint, uh, coated with uh, north and south and east and west letters N, S, E, W. Okay? So, what is the meaning here? 
When we play, suppose we want to find a north-south directions of this room. So what we have to do? We have to place on the table or on the floor like this. Now, it comes to rest in the direction of north and south. But, uh, to understand easily, we have to rotate uh, till it uh, matches the north and south of the dial letters. Letters are the dial. Like this. Now here you see, it is showing north and south. Okay? So, now, it is stationary. The magnet needle really is at rest. It is showing north and south. So we can understand that this side north, back side is south. So towards the east, uh, towards the right side of the north is east and west like that. So if you know the north and south, automatically you know the east and west. Okay. So now the main use of the magnetic needle is what? What is the use of the magnetic needle? We can find the unknown way. Okay. So suppose if you are in the forest, deep forest, you don't know your way. Suppose you want to come to your village or city, but you don't know the way. But you know only uh, my village is towards the north, my village is towards the south, if you know that one. Then automatically, if you find the north, automatically you know the, you can travel easily and you can reach safely. Okay? So the principle or uh, working principle of the magnetic compass is what? Directional property. Okay, so we use simply a small magnetic needle inside the magnetic compass. Okay, so now let us see another experiment in next one.